Hi guys! Tonight I wanted to share with you the beginning stages and process for me changing my current planner, which is a traveler's notebook, over from its current setup to a fall setup. It's that time of year again, guys, and I've had a lot of you request this since I did this last year with my A5 Burnt Orange Filofax. This year I'm going to be doing it with my traveler's notebook. This, what you're seeing here, is its current setup. It is a pocket number two licorice traveler's notebook from Foxy Fix. I will link the company below. It's gorgeous and I love it. I had a back to school theme going uh, this past week. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already, but a lot of you have asked me if I'm going to be doing process videos to change it over for the fall, and the answer to that is yes. I decided that we are going to do that. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the Traveler's Notebook, it can hold more than one dashboard. If you're not familiar, then you know it can hold more than one dashboard. So we're going to be doing that in this video. We're going to change the end of this video into a process video because I'm going to be creating a dashboard for it this evening. I'm going to be removing all of these decorations here. We're going to take everything off that's back to school and we're going to start moving over to the fall. I usually do not like to do that in one sitting. I like to do that in stages. So these videos are also going to be in stages. I don't know how many of them they will be, but we'll start with some dashboards dashboards. We will also do some uh, inside pocket decorations. We will also do outside decorating. So we'll do it in stages and I promise to include you guys in the whole process. We'll go along with it and we'll have different series for this video. Okay, let's remove everything that's on the planner now. This all has to go so that we can switch it over for the fall. I'm going to remove this bow from Peony's Papery. I absolutely loved it. This week, guys, I was loving having the black and white um, design going. Oh, it was the best. We're going to remove that. I love these little paper clips from Target Dollar Spot. They are so cute. I usually always have a Project Life card in the front for decorating, and I like to have a matching clip if I have it. This clip here is from Hobby Lobby. You guys have seen this for a while on my Instagram. I love these things. They're the little mini clips. Uh, I like to keep it on the outside of my planner open like it is now. I have a Coletto pen. There is a haul video that I did for this pen, so I'll link that below if you're interested. I have two clips on the top. One is from Peony's Papery, which is the sequin star. I love these sequin stars. You guys have been seeing those for over a year on my Instagram. And then I have this uh, peach palm in black, loving that as well. I'm going to open this up. I have a bookmark in here. I created this bookmark myself when I got into the black and white striped design this week after I was inspired by Peony's Papery. I decided I was going to create a matching uh, bookmark. I create these myself. I have an Etsy shop for them. I will link them, link them below. And also a friend's post inspired this. It was a combination of the bow from Peony's Papery and a friend's post. I put the two together and I created this. It's called the Little Black Dress and I love it, but it will be coming out for the fall. I'm not sure if I had mentioned the papers that I used to decorate these are from last year's Michael's Fall Collection. I don't know if they sell it anymore, and I really apologize for that. I like to use what I have on hand if I can before I go out and I buy new. So I try to be um, careful with trying not to overspend on too many papers because you guys all know it's really easy to go out and buy a ton of papers and then end up not even using them half of the time. At least I know that's my problem. So let's close this up. I'm going to move it aside because I don't want it to get damaged. We are on my craft table tonight because we're going to do a dashboard process video and I don't want anything to get on my traveler's notebook so I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to bring out the supplies that we're going to be using tonight. I have a uh, stamp set from Paper Smooches. It's called Falling For You. I love it. I'm going to be focusing on using this acorn right here. It's so, so cute. So I really want to use that. I have just a scratch piece of paper from my uh, stash. I will write here the company name because I'm not remembering it right now, so I will add that. And as you can see, it's already been punched on, but that's okay. We're going to be using that because we're going to be doing some paper piecing. 
I have a piece of cardstock that's good for Copic coloring because we're going to be using Copics tonight. I have a Memento Tuxedo Black Ink Stamp Pad and the reason why is because it plays really nice with Copics. I have some Copic markers. These are not all the ones that I'll be using, but just some. I have my Fiskars Stamp Press. We're going to be using that for the stamping. And I have my Michaels watercoloring because we're going to do some watercoloring. My watercolor paintbrush. And then I have a piece of watercolor paper that's cut down to the size that will fit into the Foxy Fix dashboard holder. So those are all the supplies I'm going to be using. We're going to be doing this like a process video, so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna speed things up here and do a voiceover. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime the stamp. It needs to be primed because when it's new, it has a wax coating on it, and the first image that you stamp is never gonna be clear. So I get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna flip the paper over, and I'm gonna stamp the images that I do need. I actually only need two to do the paper piecing, but I'm gonna do three just in case I make a mistake. I always like to have an extra. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on the patterned paper. I want the top of the acorn to have this pattern. I only need it once, but again, I'm going to do the same thing and stamp it twice in case I make a mistake. And I think this pattern paper is really going to look cute on top of the acorn. It's just that perfect fall paper. Okay, now I'm going to take out my Copic markers and I'm going to start coloring. I am not a Copics marker expert. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube that you can follow to get a lot of good tips. Basically, I start with my lightest color, which in this case is the YG03. Then I'm going to move to a medium color, which is YG05. I'm going to lay that color down next. And then I'm going to go to a dark color, which is YG17. And then I'm going to reverse the process. I'm going to go back to my medium color and then I'm going to go back to my light color and I'm going to blend everything together and I'm happy with that. It gives me the dimension that I want. I'm going to move to my browns and I'm going to do the same thing. My light color is E35, my medium is E25 and my dark is going to be E27. And I went light, medium, dark, and now I'm going dark, medium, light. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom of the acorn. And later you will see why I'm coloring in two different places here. This is part of paper piecing and it'll make sense as I put this together. And I'm going to go and do the same steps with the brown. Now the first piece I'm going to need is the top of the acorn which is on the pattern paper. So I'm going to fussy cut that out. Just following along the stamped lines. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Copics black marker to color on the edges. What this does is it hides the white from the fresh cutting when you cut with your scissors and it won't make it stand out as much. It won't look like you just cut it and placed it on top of another piece of paper. Okay, my next layer that I need is the leaves and the stem. I'm going to cut that out next. These aren't the best scissors I was using here. I need to find my stamping up scissors. Um, they're definitely misplaced, so I'm going to definitely need those for future process videos. These ones were kind of difficult and kind of horrible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to use the black to just finish up the edges so it doesn't look like I just cut it. And I'm going to kind of mock layer my pieces to see how that looks. And then I need the uh, first layer, which is going to be this acorn that I'm cutting out now. I'm going to cut across the stem. I don't need it. And you will see why in just a moment. And I'm going to go around and do the same thing I did with all the other pieces. I'm going to fussy cut it out. I'm using Tombow um, Mono Multi Adhesive to put down my pieces. This is my favorite glue. I won't use anything else. And then I'm going to layer my first layer of the patterned paper. I'm going to use the marker for the edges once again. And I just had a miscut there, so I'm going to just use my marker to fix it. And then I'm going to put down my last and third layer, which is the leaves and the stem. Now if I was doing a card, I would do many more layers and probably put phone tape in between them. But since this is going under a plastic dashboard, holder. I don't need that much dimension. I'm going to put it off to the side to let it dry and I'm going to take out my watercolors, my watercolor paper and my brush and I'm just putting some water down on the paper to start 
and I'm just brushing color. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I'm just putting down color at this point. I purchased a really pretty dashboard off of somebody in Etsy and I kind of have those colors in my head while I'm doing this so I know which colors I do want to do. I wanted to do like a burnt orange red color, then I wanted a green and then I wanted an orange. So those are the colors I'm putting down. If I want the colors to be darker, I use less water. If I want them to be lighter, I use more water. Now after I did this, I did really, really like it, but I wanted to add just a little bit more depth than I was getting, but I didn't want to hide the watercolor. So what I do next is I take out some uh, Tim Holtz Distress Paints, and I'm going to put those down, and I really like how this looks. I'm just going to quickly swipe them across the watercolors in corresponding colors, and I really like how that came out because you still see the dark paint and you still see the really muted watercolors underneath. So I think that came out really pretty. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz dryer to dry this piece of watercolor paper. I dry it on both sides so it keeps it as flat as possible and it prevents it from warping. The next thing I want to do is add some paint splatters. So I use a different brush for that and I put down dark green. And I'm also going to use my Heidi Swap Gold Spray. I love this stuff. I'm addicted to it. It pretty much goes on every project that I do. And when I show you the close-up later, you'll be able to really see it. You can't really see it as much now, but you will be able to see it later. And I'm going to dry that. And I'm going to show it to you up close um, just after I dry it because I don't want it to smear. And you're going to be able to see that really, really pretty gold sparkle that I'm talking about. Look at that. I just totally love that. Oh my God. It just gives the project so much dimension and just that extra little sparkle without being overdone. Now I'm going to add a couple of more splatters. I want to do a darker orange and all these splatters are just giving the um, watercolor a lot of dimension in the paints. I like to use a lot of different mediums when I'm working because it just gives it more dimension. And I'm going to dry it again. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So that is the base of my dashboard. Now I'm going to decide where to put the acorn that I paper pieced. I thought I wanted to put it in the middle, but I think I end up putting it in the bottom left hand corner. It looks better to me that way. And I'm just uh, smoothing out the watercolor paper with my hand so that it stays more flat. And I'm going to use my glue here to put down the acorn. Then I found this really cute mini Tim Holtz uh, paper clip that I put in the top right corner. I really like that. I wanted to add something else. I almost put this orange and white leaf down, but I took it away because I didn't like it. And I found this piece of ephemera that says fall days are fun days. And it was perfect for that paper clip. And the dashboard is now done. Really pleased with the result of how it came out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside of my Foxy Fix dashboard holder. It's going to slide right in and that's it. It's completed. Really, really happy the way this came out, guys. I'm going to just add a couple of items. The actual items that I'm using to decorate the inside pocket and the outside have not arrived yet, so I'm going to do something temporarily. I'm going to be using this Coletto pen that I recently just ordered, and I really like it. I love the way it plays with the orange in my dashboard. I'm also going to be adding this pen gems in green. Look how sparkly that is. I totally love that. So I'll be adding that in the back loop and I love the way the two colors work together. I'm also going to add those same colors to the top with some peach palms. I love these. I'm going to mark two spots in my planner where I usually flip to a lot. Okay. That should do the trick to the two spots that I want to go to, and I think that looks really cute. I'm not going to decorate the inside pocket. That's going to be for another process video. I'm going to add these bookmark charms. I love these. These are my favorite. They are the simple flowers design, and I make these in my Etsy shop. And I love this because it has the orange metallic cord that matches back to all the oranges. I'm going to add that in as well. 
And I'm not marking anywhere specific for now. I'm just putting it in until I use it this evening and then I will mark the pages that I want to get to. We're gonna close the elastic, really nice. And then I chose a Project Life card to put on the front. This one here, it's really cute. I actually like the hedgehog. I think he can stay, but I'm gonna flip it over. I really like this design with the bright orange and the red flowers. I'm usually not a big floral person, but I'm starting to kind of like them. I do like the flowers that are on my bookmark, so I figured it would kind of tie in. And like I said, this is completely temporary until my items arrive. And then I'm going to put my Hobby Lobby clip on here. I love these clips, you guys know I use them all the time, and I like to leave mine open on the top. You can see that in a lot of my pictures that I post on my Instagram. And that is it, guys. That is the complete process video and all the information for today. Uh, we will be doing another one to do more dashboards. I'm gonna add in a dashboard that I received on Etsy. We're gonna do inside pockets. We're gonna do outside decor. There's a lot more to come. So definitely subscribe and you can follow along as this traveler's notebook evolves for the fall. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below.